Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna show you how I got these three really cute hairstyles with a half wig. Stay tuned and keep on watching. My puppy was laying in my lap and he just wanted to say hi. He's so cute. I love my baby. Okay, let's get started. So first we're going to do the half up, half down hairstyle, which is like super popular right now. I think everybody's doing this hairstyle. And I'm just going to start by wetting my edges. And I'll leave all the products that I use in the description box below along with the wig style. And I'll try to find some links online where you can get them. And then after wetting the hair, I kind of just part it, finger parted and try to figure out where I want the half up, half down to start and stop and how I kind of want to fix my wig and how I want it to look. So we're going in with my favorite Holy Grail Edge Tamer, which is Gorilla Snot. And we're just going to brush some of that in and I'm just using a regular bristle brush that you can get from anywhere. And yeah, basically just apply the Gorilla Snot all over your hair. I'm just going to keep brushing and brushing and brushing until I have my hair kind of how I want it. And then I add water continuously just to add more slip to my hair. And yeah, and then I'm just going to take a black elastic and wrap it around about three times. I like my ponytails to be really tight so that I know it's not going anywhere. I need to know that like my ponytail is going to be secure. So yeah, you can do it three times like me or you can do it twice if you can't handle that much pressure on your head and I kind of just flip my head over and tie the elastic around three times. Now that we got our ponytail together, I'm just going to go ahead and lay these edges and get these baby hairs together. If you watched my previous video about how to blend your hair with your half wigs then you know that I don't put any makeup on the top of my like my forehead until after I do my baby hairs just because I don't want it to cake up and be nasty and look gross and then like just now I pinned the ponytail back just so I could have a little bit more control and all that hair wouldn't be getting in my face. After I get my baby hairs kind of how I want it, I go ahead and take my scarf and I tie it around my head and I leave the scarf on for about 30 minutes but for the sake of this video obviously I cut all that out and yeah now your edges are nice and dry you're all cute and you're basically ready to go. So now starting with that same ponytail, like just basically you would do the same thing with the ponytail to get this hairstyle. I'm just going to take that little ponytail and wrap it around into a bun. And I literally only use one bobby pin for this. It's super easy and you can just, yeah, leave it like that if you want. And you can see like you can't see any of the little track lines from the wig or anything. Like it's super secure and nobody can really tell that it's like a wig you have going on and sometimes I like to fluff it out and make it bigger and it's just a really super cute easy hairstyle if you want something a little bit different from the half up half down. So now for the ponytail, this is probably one of my more favorite hairstyles. And real quick, so this is the same wig. This wig is just a little bit older and cut shorter. And I have a white elastic tied around once around the wig, which I apply that to the wig before I put it on my head. So it's already in a ponytail before I put it on my head. 
So then I'm just gonna start with some water and spray it all around my edges. For the ponytail, you have to leave all of your perimeter out. So I basically just have all the perimeter left out in the front and on the sides and everything. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pin back all the hair that I want to cover the edge of the wig. So you are going to be needing quite a few bobby pins for this hairstyle. Um, I can't remember exactly how many I used, but I used them not only to secure my hair onto the wig, but also to secure the wig onto my head. So you'll see sometimes as the video progresses that I'm kind of pinning the wig down if I see any, like, or I feel any lifting because we kind of want the wig to stay taut to our head so that it will look like it's a real ponytail because we want everybody to think this is our hair, right? So yeah, we're just going to pull it tight and make sure that the wig lays flat with the bobby pins. I would definitely recommend using a black ponytail holder and also black bobby pins. Some of my bobby pins are a little bit older so they turn silver, but yeah, this will work for now. <laughs> it's okay, it's all good. So now with the back, you're basically going to do the same thing that I did in the front, except this time you can see me like really securing the back of the wig and just making sure that it's going to blend with my hair seamlessly and that the wig is not going to move because we don't want that wig to go nowhere. So now I'm just going to spray all the back of my whole head and sorry for the lighting this way guys when I started to do the wig ponytail part it got really dark and I had been out all day and I lost all my good lighting during the day sorry guys but yeah we're just going to basically apply the gorilla snot all to the back of our hair and make sure our hair gets nice and curly so it can blend in with the wig. And then I'm going to repeat the same steps that I did in the front and just bobby pin my hair up so that it will stay and look like we have a ponytail going on. This video wouldn't be complete without my scarf. You can let it dry for like 30 minutes or however long you think you need for your hair to be completely dry and then just take the scarf off and you are ready to go on with your day like literally every time I wear this ponytail you can't even see any of the bobby pins in the back it looks so good I love this hairstyle definitely one of my go-to's and one of my favorites especially if like it's a bad hair day or something this is such an easy style and you're all done with your ponytail girl Yep, it's super cute. You can pull the hairs however you want it or whatever if you want it to be more in the front or something. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Leave a comment below if you have any requests. Thank you guys. Love you. Bye.